guys, welcome to this week's episode. Today I'm going to show you, as promised, what you need to take to Fraser Island if you're going camping for one week. It's absolute essential, so if that's you, let's get straight into this video. Alrighty guys, so let's start with the cooking essentials. So basically you'll need a cutlery set, um, some cups, cleaning equipment if you have access to water, which in my case I've got a water tank, and then just some paper towel and paper board so it's easily disposable. And then a must-have is some mozzie spray. There's a lot of insects this time of the year, um, so make sure to take some mozzie spray. And then a good head torch. Now this thing I absolutely rate it. It's from um, BCF, the Wanderer Spotlight. It's extremely sharp, and um, yeah, I highly rate it. It's rechargeable too, so you can just charge it. No need for batteries. And then obviously your gas burner. Um, I've used this at Fraser and it's amazing. I really like this one. It's um, it's certainly a beast. And then also just to make sure you have enough gas, just buy a six pack of gas. To give you an indication, I've used one, say one and a half to two bottles of these for one week cooking three times a day, which is not too bad. And then also, yeah, just some extra toilet paper and things like that and yeah you're basically set for a week so when it comes to your actual camping setup and the things you need is definitely a mesh floor just so everything doesn't get full of sand you can put your chairs on there and you won't get sand into your tent as much as without one um, the next thing is also some 12 volt lights they look like this you can buy them at 4Drive Supercenter they are very cool you just plug it straight into your battery and then you can run it all along your gazebo which brings you plenty of light at night and yeah that brings us to the next part which is obviously your gazebo now if you don't have a gazebo I highly recommend you go get one because the sun is pretty hot and it's just nice to sit in shade and chill out with your mates or by yourself or whatever I've got the 3 by 3 meter ultimate heavy duty one at BCF um, don't bother with a cheap one because if there's a strong wind it might break and you just don't want that and then the next thing is the table and um, this is a foldable one from full drive supercenter as well um, it's cheap and it's foldable which means it's um, a bit portable as well and it just folds out nicely it's about this size um, so yeah you can just you know put your cooking stuff on there and just use it as whatever you want I guess and then also just some camping chairs you obviously don't want to sit on the sand all day um, so make sure to take some camping chairs and then next up a fan now this is definitely a must-have especially if you take a tent or a rooftop tent whatever you take um, it gets pretty hot at night and also in the mornings you wake up about 6 a.m. and you're sweating um, so <laughs> definitely take one of them um, they are a must have and then just take a speaker as well it's very nice to sit there and chill out with music um, so that's also a must have a 12 volt pump I don't have a mattress because it's a um, rooftop tent that I've got but just take one of these if you have one of these because there's always a mate that needs one of them to pump up their mattress so just take that in case and then obviously also some proper sand pegs just to keep your gazebo on the ground and your tent and whatnot um, so make sure you have enough of those and to get those buggers in just use a nice hammer a rubber one just to get them in nice and properly um, but yeah that's basically what you need for your camping setup Alrighty, so when it comes to having the essentials for your trailer, um, first up is your shower system. Now this is the companion aqua heat shower system. It is very portable, so that's the only gas bottle it uses, which screws onto this side as you can see there, hopefully. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, just plug straight in and you've got warm water going from the tank underneath from my trailer. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool for showers and for washing your cooking equipment and so on so yeah that's pretty cool i highly recommend this one it's awesome uh, i love it and then next up obviously a dual air compressor uh, i have a dual one because i've got a lot of tires to pump up and let down so that's why i've just went with the big one from repco um yeah very good i like it and then yeah just some stabilizers so 
that's what they look like. Um, you can get them from Rotec Marine, it's aluminium. It's just to stabilize the trailer when everything is set up and the trailer is level, you just stabilize it just so it doesn't go anywhere while you're sleeping on the trailer. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then last but not least is your solar panel. So this is a foldable solar panel, 200 watt from Four Drive Sip Center and this is a must have especially if you want to keep your batteries charged and you don't have like a um, red arc to keep it up with all the amps you can just get yourself this solar and that's gonna keep your battery charged 90% um, of the times I found that during the day it was charged up very nicely but during the night it dropped um, from 100% to 70% battery and then just in the morning it started up again um, charging through this so yeah without solar panels your battery is not gonna last for a week so you definitely need it and I would also go 200 watt or more because I don't think the others will cut it and then your fridge will run out of power and probably cut out as well which means everything won't stay cold so yeah definitely get yourself some solar panels Okay, now this is all the basic recovery slash emergency things that you need just to be sure you will get home safely. Now, first up is recovery tracks. Now, that's if you get stuck on the island just to get the trailer out, get your car out uh, in case there's no one else around. And then if there is someone, you can offer a snatch trap just to snatch you out of those boggy situations, um, you know, just to get you to save grounds. Also jumper leads. Now if you run out of battery with your car or let's say uh, another guy's car you can always use this just to give them a hand or just to let yourself out of trouble and um, because if your battery is flat on Fraser and you don't have one of these you're gonna be stuck and that's not where you want to be stuck. And then also just some basic tools. So I usually take some um, shifting spanners as well um, just so it's all good and you've got all the basic stuff to fix something if it's broken and then I find this one so this is a tire repair kit from Ford Drive Supercenter it's the cheapest one and it's got the most stuff to it so it's got all the essentials to fix tires and it's got some valves in there and patches which is pretty good because yeah if you get a flat tire and you don't have a spare you can fix it up which is pretty crucial and then another thing uh, this is not very essential but just a blower I find it to help with blowing out your tent after you've camped for the week um, just so everything is is out like all the sand and other stuff that came into your tent just to blow it out is pretty cool and then another thing is some ratchet straps um, you never know when something's going to break, so for instance my ladder rack break on Fraser Island so I strapped it down with ratchet straps just to get me home. Um, so always take some extra straps with you. And then a folding shovel, now this thing is also pretty cool, there's so many things you can use a shovel for so I recommend taking a shovel with you and it's very small and compact so it's pretty cool. Now in terms of taking diesel or petrol and water uh, we took about 20 liters of water which is perfectly fine for weir camping for two people and then in terms of diesel so my car has a 70 liter diesel tank and if you want to do all the main events and things on Fraser Island so if you want to go to Lake Mackenzie, Sandy Cape, Champagne Pools um, one day trip to the west side of Fraser Island you know all the main things for a week on Fraser I would suggest a full tank of diesel before you go onto the island and four jerry cans so I took two and it was just not enough um, so I reckon about four jerry cans and you'll be sweet I'm not too sure about petrol but for diesel Four jerry cans and a 70 litre tank which is pretty standard will be fine for a week on Fraser going to all the favourite destinations I would say. So yeah guys, that's the basic stuff you'll need for 
praise them, I guess. And that's that's about it. So there's nothing else I need to show you guys apart from this one. Floaties. Don't forget your floaties. If you're going to Eli Creek, um, this is what you want. And uh, Lake McKenzie as well. Um, a floaty is a must-have, so don't forget to take one. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me show you how I pack everything into my car. And uh, I mean trailer. And then the gazebo will go into my car because there's not enough space on the trailer for the gazebo. But apart from that, let me show you how everything fits. Okay, so starting off with packing the trailer, first things first, put in your battery because this thing is about 30 kilos. Um, so yeah, you want to put that in first and then obviously your fridge as well. And then there's heaps of space to put other stuff. And yeah, also leave your cables out of the way so that they don't get squashed in there. Um, but yeah, let's get those things packed. guys so the trailer is now packed as you can see and um, so just an important thing to note is to make sure that most of your weight is from the axle to the front just so your trailer doesn't swing around when driving because if all your weight is to the back it's gonna cause swinging and you don't want that and then also with your jerry cans um, just make sure it doesn't have a leak if you put it inside your trailer ideally you want it outside of your trailer but I don't have holders at the moment um, so just make sure it doesn't leak if it's inside your car or in your trailer because if it leaks it's gonna you know the smell is gonna go into your fridge and into your food and you won't be able to eat or drink anything so yeah just make sure it doesn't leak there you guys it's all packed we're good to go well there you have it guys that's pretty much me taking my stuff to Fraser for one week and that's all you need my setup might be different to yours um, but yeah, that's basically the stuff that I'm taking and don't forget a spare tire as well That's pretty essential too. Um, but yeah guys. Thanks so much for joining in and um, Fraser episode is coming soon. Make sure you like subscribe on the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one Have a good day. See ya oh.